This is the weather forecast video for Sunday, August the 21st, 2011. Let's take a look at the satellite image from this morning. You can see some cloudiness over the Great Lakes states into eastern Canada, some cloudiness also across the deep south through Oklahoma and into the desert southwest. Otherwise, the rest of the nation is clear. Watch warning map from just before uh, 6.40 in the morning. Some flood issues near New York City. Otherwise, the nation is quiet during this morning. QPF chart precipitation over the next five days to Thursday evening at 7 o'clock shows that we could see some rain fall amounts of between a quarter and maybe up to an inch of rain with the next system that will be moving in. Here's the 06Z GFS model run at noon today. You can see a trough over the Great Lakes states with a ridge over Texas where the heat will continue. Down at the surface, we're in the northwesterly flow, cooler, drier conditions, highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s with dew points around 60 to 63. Monday, high pressure will be slowly moving away. It'll be centered in central or east central Illinois. Some return flow will begin with maybe a late day shower or storm over western Iowa. Tuesday, that'll be moving into the rest of the state with a chance of some showers and thunderstorms at that time with seasonal temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s. Wednesday could be an early morning shower. Otherwise, it'll be de decreasing clouds with some peaks of sunshine in the afternoon with highs in the upper 70s to low 80s. Thursday, high pressure will be right over us, so we'll have some Cool nights likely in the upper 50s to near 60 and highs in the upper 70s to low 80s. And Friday, model shows a possible shower over northwest Iowa, but the main feature in this is this tropical system over Florida. S Saturday, while we're beginning to get some precipitation moving in, the tropical system will be near about Savannah, Georgia, moving north toward Charleston. And a week from today, Sunday, you see that big vortex over the Carolinas with a west-to-east flow over the rest of the country. With that, the system will be just to our west, but it will be waiting for the tropical system well to our southeast to move away before that system to our west moves in. Further into Voodoo, here's the 1st of September wavy pattern with a trough over the Pacific Northwest, another over the Northeast with a ridge over the South surface, some popcorn showers and storms, no real frontal boundaries around, and the main storms are way up into Canada. And at the end of the forecast on September the 5th, some vor vortexes over Canada one moving into Canada, one over Hudson Bay, and another moving off the Maritimes. And with that, three low pressure systems in those areas, with one over the Hudson Bay, draping a cold front that has moved east of the state, so some cooler conditions possible. Thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video. We'll have another one tomorrow.